Be my Valentine, shipheads. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your boy, Luca Tiki, and this is my love letter to Intel, Ohio on Friday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you find someone to love as much as I love semiconductor manufacturing facilities. We are in the air over Intel, Ohio 1, the fab currently under construction outside New Albany, Ohio. I'm going to fly the drone down along the western edge of the Thousand Acre site and stop near the southwest point to take a slow pan back across the entire site. You can see the large white Quonset buildings where the precast concrete slabs are constructed. The yellow gantry cranes have stockpiled hundreds of them for future use. Now coming into view are all the massive cranes surrounding the fabs themselves. There must be at least a dozen crawler and tower cranes in red. And we cannot miss the three ginormous Liebeers in yellow, which are among the largest crawlers in the world as well. In the foreground, in green and blue, are many of the Ohio super loads, which are now just hanging out in the laydown yard as they wait their installation. As we finish up our pan across the entire site, we see the water detention pond, and finally the AEP power substation in the far northwestern corner of the site. If you like the channel, please do subscribe. Your support means so very much to me. So let's go ahead and punch in on the fabs themselves to get a closer look at construction progress. As we tighten the shot, we can see all of the workers heading out at the end of their shift. Humans for scale, as the SpaceX joke goes. This is the initial fab that's being constructed, all of the pillars holding up those precast concrete slabs. And now note the commodities infrastructure with a number of tanks upright, as well as ancillary buildings going up around large pumps and other supporting infrastructure. streaming for the exits and now we can see the basement of fab 2 the earth has been backfilled up against its walls please do go check out my earlier videos to see what this basement looked like in more detail as we pan back to the left a couple more of those white Quonset huts come into view I'm not really sure what goes on in there, but they were the very first structures erected some two and a half years ago. My thought is it's meeting space or perhaps a cafeteria, but if anyone knows for sure, please do let me know in the comments. And now note one of the ubiquitous concrete trucks. It was a cold day today, but the concrete pours never stop. I'm gonna go ahead and really punch in on Fab 1 now. At the bottom, at ground level, is what is known as the utilities level. Immediately above that is the clean subfab level, where only a few pillars and precast concrete slabs have been placed. At the highest point of the structure is what will be the clean room floor, so it's easy to imagine bunny suited feet walking there in a couple of years. So you can see just hundreds of concrete pillars that have been stood upright, many with concrete slabs over top. And just take a slow pan to the right here. In the background is another support yarn where all of the pillars are stored prior to installation by the cranes several hundred in the background there. I'm guessing those concrete pillars must be 25, 30 feet tall at the utility level. 
If anyone knows for sure, again, please do let me know in the comments. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back the drone here, really let you see just the size and scope of the installation. And again, we'll pull back even further to bring the horizon into view to let it breathe, as they say. So we'll go ahead and get all of the jib tips into view. I know the crane spotters out there hate it when I don't get the tip of the jib composed into the shot, so that one's for you. And it's 5.30 on a Friday. We've got a traffic jam in the employee parking lot. I've heard there's as many as 800 uh, contractors on site. And we're gonna go ahead and fly to the north here. And I'll be sure to tilt up the drone so we can get the jib tip into view for all of you crane spotters. Fishing for those likes. If you like what you see, please do comment and like. I would appreciate it so much. And in the foreground, you can see the laydown yard with various super loads that are on site. We're going to come back and zoom in on that in a moment. And we'll tilt the drone down here to get a closer look. I'll go ahead and punch in to see what we see. And again, some of those super loads. And now a closer look at some of the supporting infrastructure, commodities, various chemicals, gases, whatnot, it nece whatnot necessary to support the fabs themselves. This is the structure that uh, you can see framed up here. And as we pan to the right, concrete pump finishing its work and in the lower right corner you'll see four very long white rectangles these are the air separation handlers or cold boxes that cryogenically distill from the ambient atmosphere into uh, requisite gases such as nitrogen and oxygen for usage on site this saves hundreds if not thousands of tanker trucks having to roll into the fabs once we're in high volume manufacturing. And here's a nice look at the laydown yard, various super loads. Well, I don't know if I can call it an establishing shot, but I did compose it for you, the viewer. We'll go ahead and dip the drone below the power lines just to give you a sense of scale. Go ahead and bring it on up to really appreciate just how vertical these cranes are amongst the fields here in central Ohio. I want to thank you, viewer, for staying with me on this journey as I explore Intel Ohio 1 with you and the drone. It's going to be an interesting couple of years as we watch this progress into the site of leading edge fabrication.